Hey guys, and welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. I'm super excited for today's class. Today we're doing a birth ball class, and I'm gonna show you how to do a bunch of different moves on the birthing ball. This is great for any trimester in pregnancy. It's also great if you're nearing the end of your pregnancy, and while there's no magic move that's going to kickstart you into labor, if your body is ready, a lot of these things can help induce labor, engage baby's head, and help get baby in a great position for birth. This is also a really feel good stretch class. I like to think of it as lazy stretching. Some of the poses we're gonna be do are draping over the ball and it's just a really passive, great way to stretch and relax. When you're sitting on the ball, you want to try to get a 90 degree angle or if you have back pain, you may be up a little bit higher. I'm 5'3 and this is a 65 inch and I will also link to my favorite birth ball below in the description box. Also, make sure that you are safe and you feel stable. If you're feeling unstable, you can put your ball next to a wall and hold on to a wall to make sure that you're stable and safe. So I'm gonna keep making pregnancy yoga and workouts every week. If you like videos like these, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this with a pregnant mom friend. Let's start with some easy shoulder rolls. Making sure to pull your shoulder blades down your back during this movement. Going the other way. Good. We can do some neck rolls here. Tilting your head to one side and rolling back and forth. If it feels good, you can place your hand on the skin in front of your collarbone and pull down. Just taking whatever movement feels good here. Might feel good to lift your ear up towards the ceiling. Good. Let's take some cat and cow on the ball. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me. I'm gonna roll myself back on the ball, rounding out my back, especially through my lower back here to relieve any tension. You can place your hands on your knees and head down. And then on an inhale, we'll roll ourselves forward, look up and slight arch. And then moving back and forth with your breath. Exhale to round out. Inhale forward. Do one last stretch here. Good. We can move into some hip circles from here. And hip circles are great, especially at the end, to engage your baby's head, get baby in a good position for labor. You just take whatever movement feels good. Switch and go the other way. Good. And from here we can bounce on the ball. I definitely tried to do this several times throughout the day. At the end, I would sit on a ball instead of a chair as well, so I could just bounce, try to move baby down. Steady breaths.
it. And we can take some hip movements side to side now. And so moving back and forth, rocking your hips. stretch through my lower side. Good. I'm going to take my knees wider apart. I'm actually shifting a little bit forward on the ball and I'm going to take my hands and press out stretching through my groin. You can also drop one shoulder in if that gives you a nicer stretch. And take a few breaths here. Good. We can switch to the other side. Good. From here, we're going to take triangle pose on the ball. So you might have to shift your ball a little bit, but you're still going to have your weight on the ball. You're going to straighten your right leg so you're mirroring me. You're going to straighten both your legs and make triangle legs, but a little bit supported here. And we can place our hands out to the side, reach to one side, and then come into a triangle position so you're supported but you're still getting the nice stretch through your legs if you can looking up at that top hand Engaging your core, pulling your baby into your spine. We'll come up. We'll switch our legs around to the other side, keeping them straight again. You can shift your ball underneath you so your legs are straight, reaching out and moving into triangle or trikonasana. Steady breaths. Good. Engaging and coming back up. We can switch our legs again to the other side. We're going to move into warrior two legs. So your front leg is going to be bent. Your back leg is straight and your back foot is perpendicular to your front foot. We'll take our arms out to warrior two. And then we're going to get a nice stretch through our side body taking Peaceful warrior leaning up and back. Good. Coming up, we'll switch our feet to the other side, finding our warrior two legs, taking our hands out, and moving into peaceful warrior. Up and over for a nice stretch through your ribs.
slowly coming out. We're going to take a supported lunge. So turning ourselves to the other side, again, moving your ball. So your hips are now facing directly towards the side and we're taking a lunge position. You can let your heel pop off the ground. And if you focus on tucking your tailbone under, you'll get a nice stretch through your hip flexor there. We'll take a couple of breaths here. Our last breath let's take a nice stretch to the side opening up a little bit more good coming out we'll switch to the other side so taking your time and finding your lunge on the other side tucking your tailbone stretching through here your steady breath and for the last breath leaning over to the side So for the next one, we're gonna do figure four. And if you're feeling unstable, this is a great time to move next to a wall. So you can hang onto the wall with one hand. We'll cross one ankle over your knee, sitting up tall. You can either stay here or if it feels good, you can release forward, stretching out through here. a little bit further inhale coming up safely switching sides found your stable position upright if it feels good you can fold forward I'm still keeping lots of length in my spine I feel like a string is pulling the top of my head up relaxing through my hips yourself go a little bit deeper good slowly making your way up we're gonna roll into a bridge position here so I'm gonna bring my ball towards the back of my mat and then I'm going to walk myself down, 
slowly and safely until I'm in a bridge pose. So my shoulders are supported and my head is supported. And then I'm gonna release down, engaging my glutes, pressing up. And we'll do that a few times. You can also add a Kegel here. One more. Good. And we'll roll ourselves back up. We can actually come off the ball and we're going to turn around for a forward fold the other way. So you can take your hands on your ball and with a lengthened spine, I'm going to roll my ball out in front of me and stretch here. If it feels good, you can move the ball back and forth, moving your hips, just taking whatever stretches feel good. Feel the stretch and the release through your back, shooting your hips back. We can roll the ball in, coming it down to our knees. Let's take a quick water break before we move into cat and cow over the ball. So coming to a hands and knees position with your hands on the ball, let's round out through our back again. Dropping your chin down. Inhale, arching up. Exhale, rounding out. Moving with your breath. one last time good we can bring our knees apart for a child's pose lots of room for your belly you can roll the ball forward stretching out through your side body releasing in your back deep breaths into your back ribs Stretching even deeper. Coming back up. Another pose that I find feels really good here is to stretch out through my shoulder and chest. So bringing the ball to one side and then just as far as feels good, pressing your shoulder down, releasing here.
coming up, rolling the ball to the other side, releasing through the other shoulder. From here, we're going to move into a kneeling lunge. If it, your knees are bugging you, you can fold up your mat and we'll take a kneeling lunge here, shifting your weight forward. Again, you can tuck your tailbone under and then you can just drape yourself over the ball for a nice relaxing stretch here, releasing through your hips. and pressing into your front foot and your hands shifting your weight back we're gonna take a half split pose here so straightening your front leg and then again you can drape your body over your ball up and we'll move to the other side. Lunging on this side and relaxing over your ball. Deep breaths. Coming up, we'll move into our half split on this side, finding your position. You might bring your ball in just a little bit and then folding over your ball this way. back in. We'll take a wide leg forward fold again supported by folding over our ball so you can just take your feet wide apart just however wide feels good for you and you can either bring the ball in close and be more upright and supported here or if you wanted to roll the ball forward for a deeper stretch you can fold forward as well. Steady breaths.
one more breath here. And coming back in, rolling the ball back in. We can bring our feet into butterfly or baddha konasana. And again, fold over, taking a few breaths here. Again, you can either have the ball closer or for a deeper stretch, you can walk the ball out and stretch forward this way. And if your ball is out, bringing it in. We're gonna move into a yogi squat here. I'll give you a couple of different options. So we can either get into the yogi squat here and drape ourselves over the ball. If you need something under your heels, you can roll up a mat or put toilet paper rolls. So here is one, which is also a great position for laboring when you are in labor. Alternatively, you can find a wall and press your ball up against the wall and do a yogi squat with your back supported and then relaxing over your ball. You can bring your knees and your elbows together, pressing your hands together, but this time release your neck and relax this way into a yogi squat. While we're here, we could do a couple of Kegels or you can do reverse Kegels and focus on relaxing your pelvic floor. If you're gonna do Kegels, picturing a blueberry at the opening of your vagina and pulling it up. And we'll hold for five, four, three, two, one. Fully release and relax. Take a breath where you fully relax your pelvic floor and we'll do that again. Bringing your Kegel up, five, four, three, two, one, release. Focus on fully relaxing. This is just as important as the Kegel itself. That's good. Let's take one more breath here. And you can find your way back to a comfortable seated position on top of your ball. My birthing ball was really one of my favorite tools that I used during my pregnancy, during my labor. During my pregnancy, I was on my ball and doing the moves several times a day to help prepare for an easier labor. I hope you enjoyed that birthing ball class. I know that it's one of my favorites. I am gonna pick a pregnancy yoga card in just a minute. If you do have any questions about my birthing ball or any questions about labor, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Of course, I'm gonna keep making pregnancy yoga videos and workouts every week. So if you like videos like these and to support me, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up and share it with another pregnant mom friend or pregnancy community that you think would enjoy it. I also have lots of free resources for pregnant moms that I will put in the description box below. I have a meal plan that I put together as a registered dietitian, a complete guide on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor. I used all these techniques to cope through all of my labors for natural births. You can grab your copy of the pregnancy yoga download or I have a complete guide on preparing your pelvic floor for labor and the fastest recovery after. The pregnancy yoga card for today is birth is miraculous, however it happens. So thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste to you and namaste to the babies. If you enjoyed this video, I'm going to link to the whole playlist of pregnancy yoga and workouts, as well as another video for natural birth preparation that I think you might enjoy. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you can hit the subscribe button right there.